Ciao, I'm Chiara from Perfile Segno and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful and shiny headband with this cute lazy partner, perfect for the warm summer days. For this project I use one skin of Cristallo from Mondial, you can find more information in the description box and a 4mm hook. Ok, now we're going to start with the foundation chain and this foundation chain needs to be in multiple of 4 plus 2. So first a chain 78. Now we do one double crochet in the sixth chain from hook. Chain one, then we skip the next chain, then we do one double crochet into the next one. Chain one once again, skip the next chain, then we do one double crochet into the next one and continue to repeat this sequence until the end of this row. Chain 1, we skip the next stitch, then we do one double crochet into the last one. Chain 1, then turn the work, then we do one single crochet into this first stitch. Now we do one single crochet into chain 1 space of the previous row. Then we do one single crochet in the next stitch. Then we do one single crochet into chain one space of the previous row. Then we do one single crochet into the next stitch. And continue to repeat this until the end of this row. Now we do one single crochet into the third chain to complete the second row of the partner. So now chain 3, this count as your first double crochet, then turn the work and now we skip the next two stitches, then we do three double crochets into the next. Now we skip the next two stitches then we do another group of three double crochets into the next one. Skip two, then we do three double crochets into the next one and continue to repeat this sequence until the end of this row. And now we do one double crochet into the last stitch. Now chain three, this count as your first double crochet, then we do two chains more. So now pay attention because we are going to work these three double crochets together. So yarn over, insert the hook into the first double crochet, yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over, insert your hook into the second double crochet, yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over, insert the hook into the last double crochet, 
yarn over and pull through two loops. And now we should have four loops left on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four loops to complete the stitch. So now chain three, then we work these three double crochets together as we did before. Chain 3 and repeat this until the end of this row. chain two then we do one double crochet into the last stitch now chain one then turn the work then we do one single crochet then we do two single crochets in this chain two space of the previous row then we do one single crochet in this stitch then we do three single crochets into chain three space of the previous row now we do one single crochet into the next stitch three single crochets into chain three space one single crochet into the next stitch and continue to do this until the end of this row And now we do one single crochet into the third chain to complete this row. So now we're going to do the last row of the partner that is the same of the first. So first chain three, this count as your first double crochet, then we do two chains more. Turn the work, now we skip the next stitch, then we do one double crochet. Chain one, then we skip the next stitch, then we do one double crochet into the next one. Chain one, skip the next stitch then we do one double crochet into the next one and continue to repeat this sequence until the end of this row chain one then we do one double crochet into the last stitch so now we're going to create two strands so first we move along the short side using a slip stitch until we reach these two holes chain one then we do four single crochets chain one then turn the work then we do one single crochet into the next four stitches chain one and turn the work then we do one single crochet into the next four stitches and continue to do this for a total of 40 rows or until we reach the length about 22 centimeters or 8 inches okay now i've done 40 rows so now we are going to do two decreases so first chain one then turn the work then we work the following two stitches together with a single crochet 
and do the same into the last two stitches. Now chain one, then turn the work and we do the last decrease in these two stitches. And now we are ready to cut the yarn and of course do the same on the other side. And now our project is done and ready to wear. This headband can be crocheted to any size you want from child to adult. Remember the multiple of 4 plus 2 for this lace pattern. I want to show you this headband with deep green color. I really love this color and I love so much this yarn because it's made of microfiber and viscose and for this reason it looks bright and shining, smooth and cool. This project is perfect for a gift for yourself, your friends and family members and this is a great project to use some leftover yarns. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial, let me know in the comments down below. Remember to tag me on Instagram or Facebook if you create your Cristallo headband too. I will leave all the links that you need in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on bell icon to get notifications. So thank you for watching and I see you in the next video. Ciao and tanto love.